45-17, Colorado loses its conference opener to UCLA. A lot of the same for this Colorado team, but what's different today is at least some hope for the future on offense with Owen McCown, 258 yards passing the most by CU quarterbacks. And since Sam Neuer did that uh, 258 against Utah in their 2020 regular season finale, uh, definitely looked like a freshman at times, but uh, that's the future of the quarterback position here in Boulder. Yeah, he looked like a freshman, but he also looked better than the, the two guys that are older than him have looked so far this season. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's crazy how this quarterback situation has gone and how, um, you know, Owen goes from really not being in the competition at all throughout fall camp to, you know, in week four he looks better than you know what, what we've seen so far. And, you know, this fan base uh, – it was probably one of the more exciting 45 17 games you're going to see because yeah. you know i mean pregame in pregame when they were announcing the starters and they announced him there's a huge roar that came up from the from the student section and they're excited to see him you know and uh, there was a little bit of excitement and even like the first three drives didn't produce a lot of points but there was still like hey they're moving the football you know uh, they're not yeah. they're not fumbling it and they're and they're moving the football down the field so uh, there was a little more excitement that he brought to the offense that didn't produce the results that that they want they've obviously got to get better overall but um, i think that Based on the first four games, I've been behind JT Stroud and feel like he should have got this game and the next game. But you look at Owen and I think that's probably your guy. I mean, that's probably at this point, you know, I was somewhat disappointed in Carl's answer when you asked him, does he earn another start? And he goes, well, we got to go look at it. What do you have to look at at this point? I mean, just just say yes, he's the guy, you know, because he was clearly better than what you've seen. Van Wells, we'll have to go back to the tape and look at it, but he had those false starts in his first start against Minnesota, but came back today and didn't have any glaring issues. And yeah. maybe there is that we just didn't notice as we're covering the game, but uh, you have Jordan Tyson with a nice catch. So a lot of true freshmen. Anthony Hankerson, a really hard-fought first down uh, in the first half. And you look at offense and you go, okay, I have some optimism for the future. And Carl Durrell was asked after the game what, what he would do you know, tell CU fans, and he th he said that we're young and we're going to get better, and and I think that's a good answer for the offense. But man, this defense, unbelievable! It looked like they had ten defenders out there pretty much all day. They yeah. got a couple stops, but generally, when UCLA got the ball, it wasn't a question of if they were going to score, but how many plays it was going to take for them to score. It was that bad. And we thought the front seven was going to be the strength of this football team. It should be the strength of this football team based off the experience. Uh, that, that is not anywhere near a young group, as Carl Durrell kind of points to reasons why fans should stay patient. Uh, how in the world is that group playing as poor as they are right now? Yeah, I mean, you talk about staying patient, we're going to get better because we're young. And, you know, you're right. You look at that defense, that front seven. We thought it was going to be a strength. But you look at, you know, uh, Josh Chandler Samito, Robert Barnes, um, Terrence Lang, those are all six year guys that shouldn't even be here anymore, but they're here because of the COVID year. They won't be here next year. You know, <laughs> Jalen Sami, Naeem Rodman, uh, you know, Quinn Perry's another guy that won't be here next year. Um, you know, these are all guys in their fourth, fifth, or sixth year of college that are playing in your front seven, and uh, they're getting gashed every single week. And, you know, you can't. Uh, you and I were talking about beforehand, every one of those guys has played better football than what we're seeing. Um, I've got to think there's something wrong with the scheme, with the coaching. Um, you have to point at coaching. And, you know, credit to the players. You know, Josh Chandler Samito in, in the post game said, hey, it's a thousand percent on the players. Um, I respect him for that, for that answer and pointing the finger at himself, but I disagree with him. I think it's on coaching at this point because every one of those guys has looked better at times than they're looking right now. And one other thing you hear longtime coaches talking about, and, and they'll sometimes say it's easy to draft up a plan for a game, but the, the true mark of a great coaching staff is what happens coming out of the locker room at halftime. And what have we seen from this Colorado team so far this year? They've been outscored in the second half, 92 to 21, and all three of those Colorado touchdowns have come in garbage time. So they've gotten absolutely smashed coming out of the locker room and again I think that points to lack of adjustments in, in bad coaching overall yeah I agree with you I mean to me I'm at the point that you know 100% I know fans have been there for a while but 100% I point to th this team's biggest issue is coaching and you know I think that uh, you know quarterback is clearly not settled but at this point you know the biggest issue is coaching you know from the top down um, you have to point the finger at Carl Durrell 
you know, Chris Wilson. These are people I like, you know, that, that, that you know I enjoy talking to. But you know, I'm sorry, it's a results oriented business, and you have to point the finger at these guys because uh, they're the ones that are being paid, you know, very handsomely uh, to uh, to get these guys to play better, and they're not. I mean, they're just they're playing poorly, and uh, I mean, this team. Carl Jarrell talked about in August that this program's in a better spot than when I took over. It's not. I mean, it's it's worse. And, uh, I mean, this is the worst that this team has played in, in 10 years. And this is a UCLA team that they're fine. They've got a veteran quarterback, a really good running back, but – they're not going to win the Pac-12 South this year. They're not going to win There's the no division. So they're, no that's right. That's South. right. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, they're not a, a conference champion yeah. chip contender. I guess record-wise at this point they are. But, you know, that's the other side of it. You look this bad against one of the teams. If you were expecting Colorado to come anywhere close to their goals this year, you looked at this as a must win yeah. and so I, I don't even know where you find the victories now you know at Arizona all of a sudden looks like a tough game and, and that just shows you where this program is yeah I mean if if CU was going to get anywhere close to their their goals they should have been two and two at this point they're zero and four and not even close in any of them um, it's hard to even see them winning at Arizona next week like you said and you know Arizona's been the very bottom of this conference for you know two three years and um, I don't know what Arizona's going to do today uh, I don't even know what time they played but um, you know it's hard to see them going down to Tucson and winning that football game and if you can't beat Arizona you, you know you got Cal here at home and you know, I mean, Cal almost won in South Bend, you know, against Notre Dame. So uh, can the Buffs beat anybody at this point? The way they're playing football right now, I don't think so. One other bright note to bring up is the punter, the walk-on punter from California, Trent Carasoza. Did I, do you think I pronounced that right? Yeah, Carasoza or Zosa. Yeah, Ashton Logan was sick, apparently, and, and so uh, Trent, it's a cool story, you know, kid uh, that walked on here and he gets a chance, and even one where he hit it on the laces, it still went a decent amount. I think he averaged 46.5 yards per punt, so yeah. that's cool. It's kind of, it, it goes back to 2012 where you're talking about specialists because you're looking for any glimmer of hope on this team. You know, obviously Owen McCown is the main glimmer of hope right now, but yeah. uh, that's a cool side story, I guess. It is, and uh Unfortunately, it's too many shades of 2012 when, you know, that season, obviously, we were talking about all those different guys, walk-ons playing and, you know, uh, guys playing out of position, things like that. The bright spots today are a true freshman quarterback who hadn't taken any first-team reps before this week. You know, your leading rusher was a walk-on. You know, I'm sorry, I'm not putting Charlie Offord all, all down, but your leading rusher is a walk-on. We're talking about a walk-on punter who came in and punted better than your scholarship punter has. Uh, you, know, you had a true freshman running back that um, wasn't even cleared to play until this week that was your number two running back today. And so uh, you look at all these things like, geez, <laughs> you know, this it's so many shades. I don't know how many times I've already written, you know, first time since 2012 with this team, and that's not a good thing. we got eight more of these left. Yeah. Are you going to make it? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I wish the bye week was uh, this week um, as well as the week after that and the week after that. But, you know, we got to do one more before a bye week. And let's just get through one more and we'll uh, we'll see how things go from there. Let's try to find some good Mexican food down in Tucson <laughs> next week, right? I mean, yeah, we got to. Yeah. All right, Colorado 0-4, and uh, it's hard to find any wins on the horizon.